Alright guys, so this is Project 6, and if you haven't already, go ahead and download um, Athletic Scholarships, and then this Excel file here called Scholarships for Word 2016, and uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It's basically one big table um, that we're going to be playing with here, and um, it says, number one, it says highlight the text in the row starting with Belfour in bright green. Alright, so see this row right here? If I hover my cursor out to the left of the table, I can click and it'll select an entire row for me. And I can go ahead and select um, the bright green color here. And I'm, I have now selected my text. That's it. That's number 44. All right. Um, see our title here, Athletic Scholarships? I'm going to triple click to select it all. And um, under the Insert tab, I'm going to see in the text group, I'm going to see some word art here. The question itself says, format the title Athletic Scholarships as word art. Use the style gold fill accent color for soft bevel so i know it's gold fill so i know it's going to be one of these two so let's start up here yep and that's the one they want right there it doesn't say to center it um and i always say on the test if it doesn't say to do it don't do it and look it already it says it actually is centered um, on the text because it's probably a text box anyway so we have to position uh, it to be top center kind of like that or say align center um like that but again I'm on the test if it doesn't say to do it even if it looks all busted leave it all right use the find and replace feature to find to replace all instances of the word football and we do have a couple uh with the word soccer all right so we're going to go to the home tab and we're going to click on the word replace we're going to type in the word football and type in replace with soccer and say replace all you're going to get four replacements all right make sure that you're clicked in your table before you do that if you're not clicked in your table it's not going to actually pick up that you want to replace things in your table and it'll probably say zero replacements have been made all right insert a wave shape and insert the text all matches begin in october align it to the bottom center of the page all right so under the insert tab you're going to see that we have um, shapes and the wave shape is right here and that's a wave scroll wave shape is that it flow chart ah that's it right there wave now i'm going to click and draw all right it says it wants us to go ahead and type all matches begin in october and make sure that you spell all this stuff right. All matches begin in October! Exclamation point. You don't have to type the quotation marks. In fact, never do that. Um, it says it wants us to go to position. Uh, you're going to see position right here. And you're going to see um, bottom center right there. All right, you can also, you'll notice here that I have different things in the step-by-step -step instructions. You can go to um, position and say more layout options, and then you can say alignment, um, center on page for horizontal alignment. So centered on page, and then bottom of page for vertical alignment. So we want to say bottom page and then say OK. All right. And notice how it just jumped down a little bit right there. So on Mike's office, that's the way they had you doing it right there. Um, so I don't know. I don't know which one would be correct on that one. But, you know, that's the way they had you doing it on Mike's office. So just so you know. Resize the table so that each column is 1.4 inches wide. So right here, like all of our columns are different widths on our table here. If I were to check this stuff and hover my cursor out above my table, um, I'm going to get a downward facing arrow and I can right click and check my column width. All right. Um, so let me say, oh, where's, oh, here. My bad. I can go to Table Tools and Layout, and you're going to see right now my column width is 1.44. It says 1.4 for all columns. So that one's 1.56, that one's 1.62, and that one's 0.8. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and select all the columns here, and then under Width, I'm going to type in 1.4. 
and then press OK. All right, and now click through them. There you go, and all your columns are 1.4. All right, sort the table by sport and then by last name. All right, so click in your table here, and then under Table Tools Layout, you're going to say Sort. You're going to start out by doing um, by sorting by last name. Uh, or by sport and then by last name. All right, so sport, if you notice, sport is column four. So I'm going to say column four. And if these were um, set up as headings, I wouldn't have to say this. So sort the column by sport and then by last name. And it says sport in ascending order and last name in ascending order. And then by last name. So last name is column one. And then say OK. All right, and now I'm in alphabetical order um, in my sports column and in alphabetical order according to the sport um, in column one. All right, and that's it for this little part. We got one more to go, guys. That's it.